Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm the Glitch Gamer, and welcome back to Minecraft Feed the Beast Unleashed. I was. I already made an episode for today, for this, but I kind of messed up with the audio, and it was kind of stupid. So I have to remake it. No problem. I have no problem remaking it. I was redoing. or I was doing a quarry. Do 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 Start it up. No, I'm not 100% sure if this is how you work it with the landmarks because I can never get it to work right. So let me put the quarry right there. Ooh, okay. It's working. Mm, I want this and these. I brought all those with me, so it'll be fine. <laughs> and let me go connect this. All the way over here. It's got a lot of power. It's got a lot of power built up. It's, this is going to be where I'm going to put my uh, second, or yeah, my second underground. What do you what do you want to call them? <laughs> Miner's tree. So I'm gonna have that, and look how fast it's going because of how much power is built up. Enabled? No, right there. Okay, it's not stored anymore. But you get the picture. Let me see. Show lasers. It's got the entire thing. All right. Time to go back to base camp. Quarry. I will be back here later. And then it has an infinite power until it completely. Mines out the hole. So that's good. Oh, I thought that was a cow at first, and I was gonna be upset. Whee, I fell. But my nuclear reactor ran out of power, and one of the things I was doing in the last episode, I was talking about it and did it. I made myself an assembler. I have this all running nice. That's what I should have looked up before I actually started this. How to uh, load up the stuff. Hmm. But that's something I'm going to need to do is figure out how to load up the patterns into the pattern provider. Not pattern, not pattern. The molecular assembler. Or from the molecular assembler into the ME network because I got a lot of the buildings and I was going to get some copper and I have <laughs> I don't think he saw it when I flew by it the whatchamacallit is just overwhelming with uh, just overflowing is what I meant to say overflowing with iron God, I cannot think. I'm in shambles. I'm broken. I don't think I need bronze for a while, so I don't mind doing that. Put away this other stuff. I might have some extra landmarks hidden somewhere. So I'm pretty sure I tried to do that before. I'll uh, take you out. Don't need you in there. Oh, y'all. No, I definitely need you. And I don't know why I have you. Huh. Okay, let's go look at this tree. This tree of ridiculousness. That keeps giving me tons and tons of iron! I don't even need this much. I don't need any... Any! 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 I'm saying that because I can't remember what I was going to say. I don't need... Any... Amber, that's what it's called. Because it's just... It's just useless, except if you use the, the Thumbcraft. And I don't need it for Thumbcraft, because I don't need to do that much in Thumbcraft. And... Hold on. I'm pooning some noobs. Ooh. Don't need that much for Thumbcraft. That's pretty much it. Don't do that much Thumbcraft, I don't make that many tools from Thumbcraft. Because I have the advanced enchanter 
any tools I make are going to be infinite health pretty much or infinite durability and anything I make from that I, I probably won't even make anything from that okay he hit me with that and nearly insta killed me and it makes me wonder why they do so much damage hmm that was a scary experience running into a slime on that on on the stupid island thing in the sky horizon I am just not able to think I'm so just everywhere right now I could use these but there's not enough of them for me to legitimately farm it for any real reason I need more 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 I need more I still have not used anything with that I've not made it to anything I have not looked up anything on what to use that for so pretty much it's useless for me at the moment can't place that I don't have any gold not gold stupid I don't have any coal I'm gonna get out of here only reason I came deeper is because of this it's quite near the surface there's coal and I do have stuff for it so I will grab some coal this is just so beautiful how fast it finds just makes me happy and I got more of those ooh I only need one stack. Don't want to waste inventory space. Do what's back here? What is back here? Nothing. Those are such trolls. Come back. Come further. Aha! Nothing's here. Oh, you wasted your time. No, I don't want to. Let's just imagine how I think they. That's just how I imagine them talking when they're like making uh, they're programming the area let's make an area where he will run to and there will be nothing there Ah, oh, Frederick that's such a good idea mmm we do have a wicked taste okay that just got really weird <laughs> I'm, I, I should not keep going in this I should not be exploring at all I should be building stuff Ooh. Oh, I'm definitely going down here. I want that. You guys cannot handle the beast that is me. Like, I am on the next level. I'm on the next level is what I meant to say. Dull infused stone. I don't know what use this serves. <gasps> Ooh. I would have been upset. I would have been a tiny bit upset. <laughs> Dull uh, air infused. I think I have plenty of that. I don't need anything here because I have all of it. I don't see anything I need, so I'm just gonna escape. But I talked about I got quantum boots now, and it doesn't give me the speed boost, unfortunately. <gasps> I dug into my cave, into my shell. Yeah, I don't have any power to that, so I need to redo that. I thought I grabbed this. thought anything of use I saw I grabbed. I definitely would have saw this too. Oh crap, I didn't mean to dig down. Um, I was smelting all that copper just so I could have more to make the dense copper plates so I can make the new rods, fuel rods. So, is there anything else down here that I've missed? <gasps> More copper! I'm dumb. I also took note in, my, in the video that is not going to be of how I keep saying I'm dumb. I don't know why. I just feel like killing people now. Killing people, killing things. This is what I meant to say. It's a song. 
I'm just looking slightly into these places to see if there's copper, and there is. And I escape with my life. You guys cannot lay a finger on me. I'm too OP. Please nerf. Ooh, I'm glad I checked in here because I do need those a lot. The quartz. That looked kind of dull at first. Like it was something completely different. I didn't see that up there. Hmm, you're hiding at me now. That's why hide and seek. I'm gonna burn you when I find you. Not the person to hide from. I mean, I guess that would make me the person to hide from, but still. Don't hide from me. It just makes me mad. I will burn your entire family. Oh, not what I wanted. I want to collect as many of those ore bushes as I can so I can take it back, put up a little farm like I had before, but then I destroyed it with a quarry. Hmm. I wanted to go this way. I was mining out this stuff when I fell through. That's what happened. Okay. I know how I lost track of things. I know there's no copper in there, so I'm going to keep out my iron and put away everything else. That's not iron. Iron. Which reminds me, for some reason, when I said that, it sounded like I said Aaron. It reminded me of Aaron Jaeger from Attack on Titan. One of the... one of my favorite shows of any category. It doesn't even have to be classified as anime. One of my favorite shows. Period. Like usually some regular shows you'd like better than anime, but that one's just I, I loved it. There isn't a single thing about it that I did not like. I like the story, I like the characters. And I kinda got sad when a couple of characters died. And I kind of was hoping one or two characters <coughs> Armin, <coughs> would die. And stop being annoying. <laughs> but I guess you can't win all the battles. It, it's nice how they make it so they make it seem that the characters are really just that vulnerable to being killed. Like hell, on the first few episodes, you think one person's dead, and you're just like, "Oh my god!" Oh, I thought this show. What? 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 This sh oh, this show just put me through a loop. And then later on in the, in the next episode, you're just like, "Oh, I kind of figured, but I did not expect that." Unless you were kind of on all those sites like Reddit and whatnot and 4chan because then you would really have uh, seen a lot of stuff that would spoil it if you haven't already seen it because everybody loved Attack on Titan there's all sorts of reaction pictures and whatnots and spoilers after each new episode that it was ridiculous no one could see it without getting it spoiled by somebody else who's seen it somehow before them. Like, I kind of knew what to expect when I was going into it. I started watching it when it's like on its 11th episode, so I got cut up in a hurry. I got right up to the 11th episode within a day. I mean, I don't like to watch it just outright like that and just waste all the episodes. I like to spend time watching it every other day or something just so that I have something to watch but that I just could not just could not I just kept watching and watching and I was like I need more Mikasa what you do that for they make one of the weirdest characters and they 
I don't know. And somehow, I, I don't want to even ruin it. Just Potato Girl. Weirdest character. Has a weird character development. Obviously, being called Potato Girl, you kind of expect something to happen with potatoes. And something's gonna happen with potatoes. And it's just gonna be weird. Like, it's not really weird, it's just weird that they'd have that. And just how the character is. It's just strange, in my opinion. Ooh, more copper. Ooh, piece of candy. I feel like this is luring me into something. Even though nothing can kill me? Except if it glitches? Like that stupid freaking... Hydra. I almost said Hydralisk. Starcraft. I was a pro at Starcraft Brood War. Not versus people. On the use map settings. That is one of the best qualities about the game is having fan-made maps that were more popular than the actual game itself and it continued with it in our blizzard games have that all the time the amount of user created content that they have in there and how much they give to their users to customize the game that they made is just nice and you don't see that with a lot of game companies or games period like EA games they don't want you to modify their game the only thing they want is more money so they create more DLC stupid money hungry whores <laughs> like they ruined one of my favorite game series and that was Command and Conquer they bought them out and they just cut open the belly of the game or of the franchise and just let it spill its guts and just slowly bleed out. I didn't care. They just wanted the title and the ability to build on that franchise, which already had established fans, so that they could make just subpar games in a hurry and make a few quick bucks. I feel that's like their business model. I feel like that's their business model. They like to just get a quick buck instead of sitting for the long haul and getting more money over time and having more popular or getting the series more popular and getting actually more money in the long run. They would rather just ch oh, cha ching, money. Done. I'm very bitter about them. Especially since they're creating a new Command and Conquer, which is supposed to be free to play. Which obviously, from it being EA, they would have some sort of pay to win in it. But it still would have been nice to play. Because you could play with your friends, and you know they wouldn't be cheap asses like that. Well, sometimes. <laughs> some might be better. Because when I when I play it and I know we are gonna win, I kind of end up nuking my allies base. <laughs> I, it's hard to play with me because like when I know we're on a winning uh, on the road to winning, I just start uh, messing with my allies. <laughs> like I don't do that in online matches, but I don't play online matches that much. I do it when it's just a comp stomp. We have the computers on the run, and I have a couple of just squads of super just ball-busting mofos. And my allies just sitting there not expecting it, so I drop a few bombs. It's fun. It's fun watching their reactions. Like one time I, I didn't know, know it, but there's two colors mine and another one that were right next to each other like they looked right or they looked just like each other so I was the same faction as that computer and me and my friend were on different teams and he was he wasn't that great at real-time strategy games and he was just sitting in his base you know trying to defend against the onslaught of like four computer players coming at him at once 
and it wasn't even on that high of a difficulty, so it would have been really easy just to repel them. But he just got one that was so relentless and so crafty, and he's like, he's just yelling at me, he's like, Alex, Alex, I'm being attacked by a computer, and I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, this one's really smart, it's, it's going for my harvesters, and it's going this and that, and I'm like, oh, really? And I was, like, giggling, and we were on Skype together, so he heard me giggling, he's like, Alex, what did you do? And I'm like, nothing, I didn't do anything, why do you always think so bad of me? <laughs> But yeah, people can't trust me when I play Command & Conquer. As I can't trust people when I play Stronghold, because certain few people just teamed up on me. If you know what Stronghold is, it's a... <laughs> it's a... What is it called? A castle builder is what they describe it as, the developers describe it as. It's a real-time strategy, but it's a castle builder at the same time. And you build up your armies, siege the other castles, take them over, defend your castle, all that good stuff. Well, we were playing it, me, my friend, me and two friends, and uh, we're all on Skype, and out of nowhere, I'm on the island, and we're playing on a map that's shaped like Eastern Europe, no, Western Europe. So I'm in England, and there's just a land bridge to where Spain would be. And, or no, somewhere around there. So there's a land bridge right there, and I have to defend it. And, you know, I'm thinking, they're not, they're probably not going to go across the bridge, because they're going to know I know better than that. So then I'm keeping an eye on both sides. So one of my friends attacks from the bridge, and he attacks with Pictish boatmen, which are able to go across water. So I go and rush my troops to go to defend that area. Then as I send troops over there, my other friend attacks me from behind, like, the exact opposite way from the sea. And he attacks my granary, which is, which holds all the food and stuff. So to keep my people happy, and so I can make more troops and more money. So I just got, just double teamed. And they both claim, claim I say that they didn't do it on purpose, that it was just coincidence that they both attack at the same exact time with the same exact units right after one distracted me to get me away from one of my most valuable resources. <laughs> I don't know, the coincidences are just... Oh, I don't know. Don't believe them. Uh, that's too much. I have trust issues now. I don't want to put that in there. It's gonna ruin it. But yeah, I did realize that this this actually does do it. The double or not double or double bar double ingot. Yeah. So I can get all this stuff out. I have a bunch of copper. How much copper do I actually need for this? Let us see. And, oh, I, I might need a lot. Uranium, quad cell, quad, oh, no! Oh, that's why. I spawned in a, is it on here, a marker, because it destroyed my markers when I was trying to build it up. So I need four per. So four would be twenty-four or thirty-two. Ah. So that would make two of those. That's four. Okay. And I have extra copper. So I'll let that go ahead and work. And I'll do other things. Like make more iron. Ahun. I, oh, let me out. I have so much I want to do now. It's a little time. So little time. At least for this episode. There's no time in this episode to do anything. More copper. Hopefully that will be fine. I'm going to go check out my other scene. 
Uh, this is going quite fast. But I can leave it. I forgot to do Thumbcraft. What do I got? More copper. Ooh! That looks beautiful. Ever since I realized how rare it is and how much it's needed, I just love seeing copper just sitting there. It just looks so beautiful. It looks so purdy just sitting on its perch looking at me. I remember back in Feed the Beast light just how you could smelt it into the ingots and then combine the ingots to make what you needed to make like pickaxes and whatnot which is really nice I, I like doing it that way but I do like Tinker's Construct a lot more it's a lot more m impressive who oh no Oh no! I broke a spawner! Is there... It should have... No... I didn't even... Oh, it did put stuff in the chest, didn't it? The stuff from inside the... the what should we call it? Okay, that's why this random stuff is in here. Okay, that makes sense. Hmm. I, it would have been nice to know that there was a spawner down there. Maybe I already had it marked. Oh, okay. Maybe I already had it marked off before the world got. Or I had to change. Or I can't even think of what I was going to say. When I had to reset my computer, uh, reformat it. No. I wiped my hard drive and then reinstalled Windows. That's what's happened. That's what happened. So it removed my waypoints. And I might have had that marked off. Because I know I had a skeleton spawner somewhere. Is that all copper? Ow! Yes, it is. Three. Yay! That's a very large amount of or berry bushes to be clustered together. I think this apatite ore is used to make fertilizer, which I don't even need. Not anymore. So, oh, I don't know why I stopped right there. Okay, so, now that this episode's done and I had no interruptions this time, I could finally edit this and get it out, so... Thanks for watching, I hope you keep watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.